Much like Thanos' first ventures on Earth, the rise of the superhero genre is inevitable, and it seems like outside of Marvel, the one company picking up the pace is DC, who are more into it than ever, with so many movies releasing over the last couple of years, and an even bigger number in the near future. So without further ado, let's dive right in and see what the years of 2023 and 2024 have prepared for us in the superhero genre. Number 10. Craven the Hunter January 13, 2023 Coming up first to open up the scene of the superhero movie genre in 2023 is Craven the Hunter, with Aaron Taylor Johnson in the role, a movie which will continue the collaboration between Marvel and Sony with the character being placed in the same universe as the likes of Venom and Morbius, a setting that we think will also belong to at least one or more movies from the already confirmed Tom Holland Spider-Man trilogy. The people working on the project are writers Art Markham and Matt Holloway, and still not entirely confirmed director J.C. Shandor. However, we think it is a done deal since the movie has had a huge leap in production in May 2021. Number 9. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, February 17, 2023 Peyton Reed once again will take over the director's chair for the third Ant-Man movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, a movie that will see both Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly return for their respective roles of Ant-Man and the Wasp, who will be joined by the newcomer in the casting group, Catherine Newton, as Scott Lang's daughter, Cassie Ling, who is presumably going to have a huge role in the movie which, put together with the likes of King the Conqueror making his debut on the big screen, the movie simply screams for excitement, which is why we think it will be worth the wait after a few delays catching up to the filming process. Number 8. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom March 17, 2023 Together with Jason Momoa, the Aquaman sequel will see the return of director James Wan who is ready to take us on yet another wild underwater adventure and let us explore more of the world of the Atlantis. Moving away from the origin story we got to see in the first movie, as there will be more than one kingdom to tend to from Arthur's side, now that he is the protector of the world underwater. Not much is known about the movie or which villain we are going to get, but do not be surprised if Yahya Abdul-Mateen II's Black Manta proves to be a much tougher opponent than what the first movie has shown. Number 7. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 May 5, 2023 The Band of Misfits is back again as the Guardians of the Galaxy are ready yet again to fill our hearts with laughter, with the third movie already confirmed to release about a year in the future. The dust behind James Gunn's firing and rehiring has settled, and the movie was quickly put into production. Not many things are known about the movie, regardless of the plot of the movie. However, their upcoming appearances in the fourth Thor movie and the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, coming in December this year, will surely go far in telling us where their next adventure will take them, to the cosmos or more grounded down on Earth, as Nova, the most important connection between the two, is rumored to make his debut in this one. Number 6. The Flash June 23, 2023 Being in the work since 2014, the standalone movie featuring Ezra Miller in the lead role of Barry Allen is finally coming. And even though the movie has suffered quite a lot of delays, hopefully the last one, occurring not more than a month ago, will be the last. The cause of all those delays was due to directors coming and going, with the director of IT, Andy Muschietti, being the last one to take on the role. This movie will open the gates of the DC multiverse, as Barry will create the widely famous event in the DC Comics Flashpoint by trying to change the past when he ends up confronting multiple universes, including one where Michael Keaton is Batman. <laughs> yeah, you heard us right. Number 5. The Marvels, July 28, 2023 the first true showing of how powerful Captain Marvel is in the MCU came along with Brie Larson in the role of the titular character in the Captain Marvel movie. And for the sequel, we will have three of them, with Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan joining forces with her as a great threat is before them. Not much is known about the movie, except that it will be Zal Ashton portraying the role of the villain of the movie. One we still don't know. The one pinning the script will be the writer of WandaVision, Megan McDonald with Mia DaCosta signing on the project to direct. And unlike the first movie, which took us way back before the Avengers initiative took place, this sequel will have a modern day setting, or should we say in the multiversal madness the MCU is in right now. Number 4. Blue Beetle, 
August 18, 2023. Yola Moedina has been assigned to the role of Jamie Ray's incarnation of the DC superhero Blue Beetle, who will make his debut in a standalone movie of the same name, with Angel Manuel Soto, the man behind the project, in the director's chair. Originally set to release on HBO Max, the movie has now been slated for a theatrical release, which is always a good thing when it comes to a movie from the superhero genre, as everyone wants to see all the magic of CGI on a big screen, maybe even in 3D, right? All in all, the movie will surely be one of a kind, as there are not many things to go on regarding the plot of the movie, or if the movie will even connect to the other projects DC has prepared for a theatrical release in the two upcoming years. Number 3. Wonder Woman – Release To Be Determined Ready to take us on their third movie from the franchise, we have Gal Gadot and director Patty Jenkins. Shortly after December 2020's Wonder Woman 1984, it was revealed to the public that a third Wonder Woman standalone movie will be released, which, as it stands right now, will also be the last one from the franchise. Still only in development, all of the details regarding the movie are under wraps with the upcoming months probably being the ones that will reveal a few bits and pieces here and there, outside the fact that the movie will be set in the present day, all in order for the hype train to start rolling. Number 2. Superman Reboot Release TBD For quite a while now, the world needed Superman, and today we're here to tell you that the character is coming back. Now, we still don't know if Henry Cavill will finally get his long-awaited sequel, which is in his DC contract. Or are we getting something new in the likes of a Superman movie with a black lead, something director J.J. Abrams alluded to over the last couple of months, the one who is also in charge of the upcoming movie? No matter the case, the important thing is that people finally have hope that it will be the year 2024 when we are going to get the next Superman movie. After all, the S that sits on his chest stands for hope, something we cannot ever lose, especially not in the superhero genre. When a certain character is on our mind. Number 1. Blade. Release TBD. Outside of the Avengers, the Young Avengers, and the Guardians of the Galaxy, there might be a new team up coming to the MCU, the Midnight Suns, whose members include the likes of Moon Knight, Black Knight, Ghost Rider, and Blade. And out of these four, the one who will be assigned to kill the vampires of the MCU, the undead side of things, something we caught a glimpse from in the latest Doctor Strange movie will be Marahalashala Ali, who has already been confirmed to take on the role of the titular character Blade, with Marvel keen on rebooting the franchise from the ground up. And the likeliest of all movies out there, which don't have a release date to be scheduled one next, and it's surely being sometime in 2024. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the superhero genre? Do you like it or not, and why? But also, which one of these movies are you most excited about? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.